Today, I'm sharing with you guys how to edit Instagram Reels like a pro. This is honestly just my workflow, but I know that a lot of people have been asking for this video, especially because my last one has done so well. So here we are back at it again. So today, I'm going to share with you guys my exact three-step workflow for creating Reels. And then in the end, I'm going to share with you guys how to get my secret sauce to rendering out videos, ultra, ultra crisp on Instagram. If you don't believe me, this is before the rendering settings are applied, and then here is after. Literally, it's such an insane difference. Okay, so the first first step for starting Instagram editing is your preparation. So preparation is going to be your basic corrections. So you're going to fit your video to the sequence, if not already. You're going to do color correction and grading. You're going to do your basic cuts and you're going to add your text captions. Now I used to do text captions last, but I have found this new workflow to be way faster. And then the second step is doing your content ideation. This is where you're going to plan your edit. You're going to visualize your edits and you're also going to mark out your timeline. So that way, when you go to actually edit and create, you know exactly what you're doing. So you can just kind of keep the momentum going. And here's my lovely picture sharing with you guys what that's going to look like. And then last step is create. So this is where you're going to actually throw in your icons your b-roll your animations your text effects transition overlay sound effects and music literally just actually doing the work and then i wrote down below get saucy because this is the step to get saucy and then again make sure you watch till the end to check out my render settings because these are the best render settings of 2024 2025 literally the best settings ever so be sure to stay to the end of the video to see that so we're going to start from the very very basic this is going to be a very raw video sharing with you guys my entire process so first things first i'm gonna go ahead full screen you want to hit this button new project when you hit new project you just want to name it i'm just going to name it real um, for tutorial and then this is where your project location is so if you want it to save to like an external drive you can do that that's what i'm doing um so we're just gonna go ahead and hit create okay so my premiere pro does look a little bit different than yours and typically your program monitors will be in sort of a tab but just like so what you want to go ahead and do is you want to grab the program monitor and then just throw it right here in this little bar just like so and then there you go you will have sort of a bigger view for short from content okay so first step is importing your video file so i'm gonna hit Control i and then i'm gonna find my files okay so now that we have our file uploaded we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into the sequence and then i'm just gonna go ahead and double check sequence settings and make sure it's 1080p 1920 and then also 30 frames so go ahead and set that to 30 frames i'm gonna do 29 0.97 and then everything else looks good to me hit okay and then this is actually fitted properly if your thing is like bigger like this um, you're either gonna have to set it to either 100 or if you're using 4k footage then set it to 50 and then you'll be good to go or you can just go ahead right click scale to frame size and then you're good to go ready to go so now first step is just again doing some basic corrections now this footage already has LUTs on there but typically what I would do is go to my takeover preset pack link will be down in the description below and this is hands down the best preset pack for short from content editors as I literally have crafted this over over a year now like this is a year of effects that I use each and every single day in all of my videos so again feel free to go ahead check it out so typically I would just go down here to the LUT my signature LUT and then I just drop it on and and then go ahead and just color grade accordingly. But we already have it color graded, so we don't gotta worry about that. And then I like to do the audio fix or also the microphone preset, which is right here, drag and drop it onto the microphone and then it'll sound good. So there we go, basic corrections checked off, we are good to go. And now is when we're gonna go ahead and do our basic cuts. So the way that I actually do basic cuts is I use C for the cut tool, I use X for ripple delete, so it'll go ahead ripple delete like that. And then also V to just go ahead and use the normal selection tools. And if you don't have these keys binded to that, then what you can go ahead and do is go to Premiere Pro, go to keyboard shortcuts and then just go ahead and make your x ripple delete your c razor tool and then v the selection tool and then you'll be good to go hit okay and you're you're good so i'm gonna go ahead and do basic cuts um, i'm gonna show you guys the first few couple cuts and then after that we're just gonna go ahead and speed right through until we are done and just a tip you can drag out the audio just so you can hear it and then also you can see a little bit of that space okay sick so we're not going to edit the entire reel today. We're just going to go ahead and do the front half and then also add some captions. Keep it very simple for you guys. Okay, so the last step for preparation is going ahead and adding your text. And the way you add text is you go over here to this tab, text, or you go to window, type in text, click that, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to transcripts. Go ahead, generate static transcripts. This is what I do personally in my own workflow. And then just go ahead hit transcribe now this is actually going to go ahead and just listen to what you're saying write it down for you so you don't have to do it and then you go to captions you got to create captions from transcript 
you go to maximum length and characters. What I do is nine. And what this does is just like each line will only have nine characters. If that a little bit more, a little less. And then you go ahead, just drag these all down lines, single create captions. Now your captions and text are all done for you which is honestly so amazing because I do remember the day where you had to do it yourself and that was not fun. So now the next step is going into your essential graphics tab and then editing your text. So I like to go ahead and censor it. And then I use the value of, I believe 190 ish, just like so you really want your face and the words to be very close to each other because people look at the words and they also look at your face. So you just don't want them to be looking so far up, so far down. I'm going to go ahead and change the size and I'm personally going to use the font Akira expanded, but it is free on the font.com. Go check it out. I'm going to go ahead and add a faux bold. This is where you can add it like a thicker bold. And then this is where you can do an italicize. I'm actually going to add an italicize. You do all caps. This font is all caps. So I don't need to do that. And then again, fill, you have your stroke option. Um, you have your shadow. I'm going to go ahead and just increase the shadow just like so. And then uh, I'm liking what, what we're doing. Okay, so there's an error right here. Um, so it says and no. I meant like and no, like that. And it's also line this up with the cuts. Very important. You know this is not selling stock footage. So I'm kind of not liking how big it is. So again, I'm going to select all of the text. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, just like so. And to me, that's looking a lot cleaner. Okay, sick. So we've actually added all of our text to our thing. So all of the preparation is now done. We are moving into the next phase, which is ideation of your reel. So now is the time to go ahead and bust out the adjustment layers. Um, this is what I personally do. You could also just use M on your keyboard to create markers in the timeline and you could just write it right here. Personally, I don't like markers. They just don't really work for me in my workflow. I like to really see exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So I want the hook to be about right here. Let's see. Okay, that's kind of like the hook. Just like that. And then I kind of want like a zoom in effect to be right here. Then let's add some B-roll right here. Because I said I started this in January. I think it'd be awesome to add some B-roll. Which I'm going to go ahead and just label this differently because it's B-roll. And let's add like an icon or something. So I'll go ahead and label this something different. Uh, so label, we'll just do like green or something. Um, and then, yeah. So camera movement, or this is just hook. Camera movement right here and then uh, B-roll and then icon. Okay, so now we are on the last step, which is actually just creating your reel, doing all of the edits, getting the work done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by adding in some icons and I wanna actually add like a screenshot right here. So let's go ahead and just import a screenshot. I'll go ahead and take this image, just like so, drag and drop it uh, just to the adjustment layer like this. And then let's see, maybe start right here. There we go. So we'll do something like that. We'll delete that adjustment layer because it's already there. And now I'm going to go ahead and just resize this sort of icon just like so. Okay. So now that I have the icon placed exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and just throw on some effects. Now you can go ahead and learn all these effects in my previous videos. I literally broke down a good majority of these effects and how to do them in this playlist in the card in the top right corner. Or if you just want to skip that, you want to have all these drag and drop just like me, then go ahead and check out the takeover store where I said editing assets and presets for people just like you. They're pretty killer, so go ahead and check them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, let's do rounded corners real quick, just cause, and then I'm gonna go ahead and nest this because I did resize it a bit, so it's gonna mess with the presets a bit. So I'm gonna do slide in up and slide down out. And then also before we go ahead and apply, I wanna use alt, do shake medium, so it applies all three presets at the same exact time. And then this is exactly what you get. Validity drag and drop process, super, super easy. So now let's go ahead and add our B-roll. I'm going to go ahead and hit control I going to go ahead and import it into the timeline, double click and then just drag and drop it. And then we'll go ahead and just cut it to this adjustment layer. Just like so. And that looks really good. I like that B-roll a lot. If you want to take it a step further, you can go ahead and add an overlay to just really frame it a bit more. This is a uh, very popular with Tom Noski and like his edits and stuff and like kind of this whole new wave of, uh, editing uh, IG overlay. It's actually free. Link will be down in the description. Go check it out. Drag and drop. 
Now this looks good, but now it looks weird because the text isn't centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all this text. I'm gonna go to essential graphics right here and then just go like this and then maybe make it bigger. Okay, this is double line. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize that. Fire, okay, sick. So now we have everything pretty much done other than a camera movement, which we're gonna go ahead and do right now. Now, because I did actually already make this a uh, adjustment layer, I'm just gonna use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this out a little bit more because I want it to be like a smooth zoom in, which amazingly, we have a smooth zoom in preset. Now, I want this to be a little bit longer of a like zoom in, so we're gonna go ahead and drag out these keyframes. I like it. W. I love that. So now it is time to make the hook, which is like the very fancy part of editing. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Keeper, which is a plugin that I have. It also has a preset inside of the takeover preset pack. You have to buy it separately and it is for only for Mac. So sorry if you don't have Mac, but there are workarounds to kind of just follow the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this adjustment layer because we don't need it. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just import an icon. We're going to use the Shopify icon. Okay, so we got the icon. I'm going to drag and drop it into the timeline just like so. Cut it up like that. And then I'm going to resize it to make it like pretty big behind me. Just like this. I'm going to go to the keeper plugin and I'm going to go ahead and go to quality high person. I'm actually going to select subject just like that. And then that actually got like a pretty good frame. It's a little bit off on my hat. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually pretty good frame. And then I like those settings, so we're just going to keep them. So now I'm going to go ahead and add like a dope little effect to this icon. And the way we actually do that is we're going to go ahead and go to glitchy text. It works for icons as well. So glitchy text effect right here, drag and drop just like so. And it adds like that dope little effect. And then I wanted to add like a shake medium, drag and drop that. Uh, I want it to slide from the top down. So top slide down, and then we're also gonna have it maybe slide slide down and out. Okay, sick. So I'm gonna drag and drop that as well. And let's see how this looks. Okay, so that actually doesn't look really bad. Um, it's not my favorite, but for tutorial sake, we're just gonna leave it and call it a day. Um, and I really wanna also, for the hook, add like a dope text effect. So I'm gonna upgrade caption to a graphic. And what this does is it kind of just allows it to be a normal layer so that way you can edit it normally. I'm gonna go ahead and stack these just like so. So follow my steps, just like this. Then add the track if we don't have enough. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and just drag all these out, just like this. And then now I'm gonna go and edit the text and kind of have like a dope little stacking effect, kind of like how Tom Nosk does as well. So the way that I start is I just kind of separate them like this and then I kind of piece them together like a little puzzle afterwards. Okay, so you can make Maybe let's do, you can make, and I'll make the $500 like bigger. Just because $500 is kind of like eye catching a bit. Maybe stack it like that. I actually really like the way that looks. And then we'll do a day. We'll actually make this like stack it like so. And maybe move it over to the right. You can make $500 a day and then passively. I actually like the way this kind of feels shape wise. And then now we are going to go ahead and add the animations. So I'm going to go and just do, so I'm going to go ahead and watch it through, see how it looks right now. Okay. Now I want the $500 to kind of slide in. I have a text slide in effect just like, so let's see how this looks. I love that. Um, let's go ahead and go to transform and maybe just make this like a little bit higher. There we go. $500 a day and then passively I kind of I like I kind of like how it pops in so I'm just going to leave it and then I'm also going to go select all of them and nest them together and then I want the entire thing to sort of slide in just like how we had before but also start it like this and then maybe it's make it a little bit longer and then also let's add a shake Day, 
That actually looks really good. Um, but I think I was wrong. I kind of want the last one to slide in as well. Let's go ahead and maybe just drag this out a bit like this and maybe have it do that, but maybe make it slower. The thing that's dope about this preset pack is it gives you like pretty much 90% of the edit already there. Majority of the time it's like already done for you, but there are some times where it's tweak it to like just really get it to the exact way you want it. And like, in my opinion, that's not really a negative. Okay, I really, really like that. And now the last step to making your videos look a lot better, more cohesive, you wanna add some transition overlays. Now, I actually have my own overlay, so I'm gonna go ahead and import that right now. But for you guys, go ahead, just check out free film burn overlays. Like there's one on YouTube that's really, really good. Uh, I suggest you guys downloading that, it's pretty fire. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to overlays, go to the takeover film burn, add, add it to the thing, and then go to screen, that way it goes through just like this and then you can play it through and it just really makes that transition a lot better. Now I'm also going to add a sound effect, which you guys could use any click or you guys could go to my shop and check out the free creator pack. So that sounds really good and that works really, really well together. I'm going to use command L to link these two. So that way we can just copy and paste just like so. So I'm going to copy paste over here. I'm actually not gonna add it right there. I'm gonna add it at the end of here because there's like a camera movement and new subject is coming up. Just like so. So that looks really, really good. Another thing that I really enjoy doing for reels is adding overlay in the beginning of the video, just like so. So that way when you add an overlay in the end, there's like a perfect little loop that goes on. As you can see here. So that's a dope little trick, pretty fire. All right guys, so now the last step is just adding your background music. Again, I'm gonna go to my Premiere Composer, add my background song, just like so. G for the gain to change the audio and then just negative 30. And there you go. You guys have a certified hood banger classic reel. Pretty fire. All right, you guys, for the last step, again, as promised, I'm gonna share with you guys my secret to rendering out videos in that crisp, clean, quality so you guys want to go to export you guys want to go to format make sure this is all just like so uh, go to video go to more render at maximum use maximum render quality you want to go down here to vbr two pass or one pass and then just do 37 and then another thing that i do is go to effects this is the secret sauce go to lumetri color right here apply and then you guys want to go ahead and get the qt slash gamma lut and what it does, it just compensates for the uh, weird thing that Adobe Premiere Pro does in the render. So you just go ahead and open and you'll see it kind of looks weird, but in the render, it looks perfectly fine. So now all that's left is just export the video. But anyways, guys, if you guys learned anything from this video, please have a like, comment, subscribe down below. And if you want to copy TakeOver preset pack, it's pretty goaded. I highly recommend it. Link will be down in the description below. Again, that is it for me today. If this video looks interesting on screen, feel free to watch the video. Remember, take action, take over. Peace.